Shalom sisters, most like Christ bless. This is Sister Zamora from the house of Officer Baruch. We're coming to you to show you a tutorial on how to make an apron. Materials needed. A yard and a quarter of fabric. Scissors. Tape measure. After you cut out the little corner, you can unfold it, and as you can see, it will have a corner cut on the right and also on the left. And it will look just like so. With your extra piece of fabric, you want to go ahead and cut little strips of the fabric to make the straps. The strap that goes around the neck. Also, the straps that you would tie the apron with. I would measure out two inches width and for the length, depending on how long you want your straps to be measure out, uh, well this is a little over a yard, so it doesn't have to be exactly over a yard, it could be, we'll just say 30 inches long for the strap, because you're going to make two of these, one for each end of the apron. So here's your strap, and what we're going to do to prepare it for sewing, we're going to go ahead and Fold one end, we're going to press it with an iron, on one side, and then we're going to do the same for the other side. Once you have it pressed, you want to fold both sides down to make it really neat. And then you want to press this as well. I use an iron so you don't have to use needles. The iron makes it really crisp and keeps the fabric in place so that it'll be easy to sew. So here you have one strap. What you want to do is duplicate this twice. So you'll have a strap on your right side and the left side of the apron and one to go around the neck. So on the apron, you see there's two straps here. This is what these are here for. These are, this, these are gonna be small, like the straps here, and then you're gonna have one that's a little bit larger for the neckline. 
So in all together, you're gonna need three. One a little bit thick to go around your neck to hold the apron up and also to tie the apron in the back. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and iron the top part. Just like we did the strap, we're gonna fold the fabric maybe a quarter inch and we're gonna iron. Then we're gonna fold it over again. And you're gonna do the same thing for this curve. You're gonna fold it to a quarter inch and you're gonna iron. Make sure your mother is there to help you do this because you don't want to burn your fingertips. Then you want to fold it again. Just burnt mine. And you want to iron it again. And as you can see, it gives you a real nice, crisp line here. So all you have to do is sew along this line right here. It gives you a nice seam. You also want to do the same thing for the sides. Quarter inch. And again, this allows your apron edges to be very neat and you won't have um, unraveled edges when you model your apron. So what we'll do next, we will start sewing. As you can see how neat it looks right here, but what we'll do, we'll start sewing with our decorative um, thread. You don't have to go decorative if you don't want to. You can use the same color as your fabric, or you can use blue, pink, or purple, whatever your favorite color is, to go ahead and use the sewing machine and you sew around the curve, down the sides. Now that we have all of our straps, we're gonna go ahead and start sewing. So what we're gonna do, Here's where we press this fabric to make the strap. We folded it, and then we're gonna put it right underneath the foot plate, the feeder, of the sewing machine. And we're gonna start sewing on the open end all the way to the very end. So your seam is going to be closed. So here you have it. We've sewn the three straps on one side going down each strap. Sewn on one side. I used my decorative gold thread so you can see it very well. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to sew on the curve of this apron and we're going to start attaching the straps to the apron.
as you can see I've sewn the corners of the apron here and this is what it looks like once you're done sewing that so what we're going to do next is attach the strap to the neckline so I'm going to turn it all over the fabric and you can see right here I have the at the fold I'm going to add one side of the thickest strap underneath the fold. After I place the strap underneath the fold, I'm going to bring it back up and it's going to look like so. So now we're going to attach this, the tying straps onto the apron the same way we did for the neckline. We're going to put it into the fold of the fabric and then we're going to fold it again so it will look real neat. And then once, we're, once we have this, we're going to fold this back here. And we're going to just sew all the way down the side of the apron. Now that we have the strap sewn on, now we're going to apply the pockets. And you can have a choice if you want to. You could go crazy with some different fun fabric to make pockets or you can stick with the same color fabric that you have the apron out of. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the purple. I'm going to be a little dull. So how I do the pockets, you see this seam that I've pressed in the middle of the apron. I do the same thing for this piece of fabric. I just press it on the fold and I open it. This is going to help you center the pocket. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a fold, maybe a half an inch fold and steam, uh, press it. That's for the top part. And then I'm going to do the other three sides. But at the very bottom, I'm going to make it like a little point. I'm going to fold it like so. I'll fold it like a little triangle and I'm going to press that. Then I'm going to fold it in half again to make sure that my um, seam, my little fold, is prevalent. In order for me to line it up again with the apron. So let's come over here and we're going to line it up so. Before I attach the pocket to the apron, what I'm going to do along this top of the pocket, I'm going to sew a cute little design straight across the top part. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay it onto the apron, pin it, and then sew down each side and the bottom.
Okay, so now I have the stitch across the top part of the pocket, and now I'm going to line up the pocket with the seam that I pressed here with the seam on the apron. I'm going to measure at least mm, two inches from the sides to make sure the pocket is somewhat centered. Once I have that done, I will pin where I want the pocket to be. Make sure you have your mom help you with putting these pins in. Also, put more pins in here to make sure that the pocket is secured to the apron while I'm sewing. And then when I'm sewing, I will remove the pins. Okay, so again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew on this side and on the other side and at the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna go and do that and then when I come back, you'll see the finished product for the pocket, that is. Now you can see that the pocket is attached to the apron. And if you wanna make multi-pockets, um, a quick trick to do that, we're gonna take the line that is on the midline of this apron that I use to match up the pocket I'm going to make sure, I'm going to iron it because this is what I'm going to use to make sure that my line is centered off the apron. Or should I say my stitch. So as you can see, it's more prevalent. You can see it a lot better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew right on this seam, this little fold here. Okay, so now you have the pockets on. One, two, three. For whatever you like to put in there. Alright, so next thing to do is to complete the hem off the apron and apply your fringes. There's a video that has already been made for... Uh, a tutorial for applying your fringes in the border blue so please revert back to that I'm gonna go ahead and do my hem and I'll sew my fringes on and I'll show you the end results so now this completes the apron project I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please uh, make comments at the bottom and of the screen and we'll get back with you. And until then, Shalom, Most High in Christ Bless.